Just had a chop a hit. We get violent when we see a chance to escape poverty. We're rap for this, we show acknowledgement for those that die for this behind the fence without no consciousness about their consequence and common sense. Same ain't common sense, common been common sense. Common sense telling me get bent behind a bunch of tent. Common sense, bitch, give me brain till you ain't competent. Common sense when that chopper hit all of your opposites. Damn. I wasn't even tripping on this shit, really. I was like, shit, as long as all my content getting out there, like, fuck it, I ain't tripping. Like, I ain't think I was going, you know, have nobody to, like, really be interested in, in what I got going on. Right. You see what I'm saying? <clears throat> but boy, was I wrong. Yeah, and I remember that TikTok when you said, somebody out there posting my video. And I was like, oh, shit. <laughs> but then he was like, it's all good, just, you know, hit me up and when you start making money. I'm like, oh, that's it? Yeah. I was like, bet. Because I really just started screen recording for my own sake. So I can remember what you're saying. Like, I used to watch your live and literally be taking fucking notes. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? So I was like, instead of taking notes, let me just screen record. Yeah. And then I was like, if I'm this interested, I know somebody else is. So just, why not just post it so that's everybody that. can have this information? That's dope, man. My man, I think, was more along the line. Oh, on some entrepreneurial type thing. Like I let my creativity get the best of me sometimes in my business and doubles. I get right. creative. And I was thinking along the lines about me making music and getting this deep in the health and fitness. I've never seen someone make music, have a reputation for music, especially gangster rap. Then do health and fitness the way I was doing it, like that intent and that bowling. So I was like, man, maybe I got a, a dope way for the, you know, present my music to people. You see what I'm saying? Right. But the shit just went so fucking left field when I seen that, okay, it's more than just people who listen to rap music that's into this health and fitness shit. And I was like, damn, like, this health and fitness shit got more of a serious impact on people than what music do, and particularly mm -hmm. my music. My music can have the wrong influence on people. If listened to as a whole, I speak some 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 shit with death, but I also speak some shit that's that's stupid as the fuck that I, I I'm ashamed that I I made that music now. And I like creating music like that just for an expression, but the effect that it has on people, the potential effect, I'm not cool with that. Right. Not just the the you know the cause and effect process the effect itself the people that it affect and the way that it affect them and what it'll lead up to i'm not okay with that i don't want that for myself no more mm. and if music if any of my music will, will lead somebody else to doing it or condone like i say our lifestyle my lifestyle when we listen to gangster rap music we doing this shit that we listening to mm. it ain't the same for everybody who listen to gangster music like they listen to that shit but they live a whole different lifestyle you see what i'm saying I don't want that lifestyle for myself no more because I know that life is a very short and, and miserable on those around you. And it will have an effect on those around you. Your lifestyle can have an effect on those around you for a very bad way. And music, it can help influence that. Mm -hmm. Telling people that it make you seem like you're a radical, you are, and that's not even the case, man. I'm still a G nigga, man. It's just I want some something better for my life, man. And I know what that type of music do. It puts you on a low frequency. The shit that's trending right now, that's the state of mind that a nigga be in and feeling like when you on your on your verse, when you down to do your verse for the survive. That's not supposed to be your base emotion. That's not supposed to be your base state in life. But it's being glorified and glamorized to the point to where people, are, they want to be in that mental state. They attach that type of demeanor with cool. And it only lasts for a certain amount of time. If you're lucky enough to survive and, and live just to be a little bit older, you'll realize how immature and stupid that way of thinking is. And the chances of you being lucky to survive to that age is slim to fucking none. So me knowing that is really playing a fucking trick on me, man, to where I'm reevaluating what the fuck I done done and what I want to do. That's why I ain't been in a restaurant to make music because the message that I want to give is so easy for me to give it this way. Other than trying to find a way to make it rhyme, market it in a cool way, and hope to God people will pay for it. It's kind of hard to do.
You see what I'm saying? So do you still listen to your own music? I do. <clears throat> I'm gonna be honest with you. The past few times I've been listening to my own music, been just for the to see what songs I'm okay with using as a sound to create my health and fitness content. Right. That's it. Yep. I do have some songs I listen to just to you know just to listen like damn like I I like the way I put this song here together with the the, the tone of voice I use the cadence you know and it be like that like the last song I I got like that called Add It Please a lot of people are asking for it. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? They are. They like, keep I asking. Like, I like the way my voice sound on that particular song, but I just don't stand on the message that I'm sending on them. They sound good, and I feel like I'd be a hypocrite for to give this message that I'm giving, but still drop that fucking song. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? They be like, damn, P, I'm feeling the song, shit. Everything they saying, I know that bitch by heart. I'm like, okay, just don't sing that shit around me. You're going to make me paranoid, and I'm going to feel like I'm about to do you something. You know what I'm saying? I'm the one who created the song, so I feel like I don't need to be creating nothing on that type of um, frequency. And if that comes with me not putting out any music ever again, and I'm okay with that, because in the meantime, I be be speaking this type of shit. Right. You see what I'm saying? And I'm not well off in life. You see what I'm saying? Like, as far as financially, then again, maybe I am. You feel what I'm mean? at? <clears throat> but in my mind, financially well off, I'm not there. I'm well off financially to, to not by my standards. No, do I want to be? I would like to be. Am I trying to be? Not directly. I'm trying to serve a fucking purpose. I'm trying to pay my bills with my purpose. Mm -hmm. But I'm trying to, I, I need to be okay and hip. <clears throat> For real. The shit that excite me, the physical things that turn me on, things to the touch, is. Like most people, I have things like that, but it's not cars or clothes and jewelry and large stacks of cash. It's not that. It's time to be able to enjoy the time. You see what I'm saying? Like, I know the value of being able to really say, man, I'm going to chill at the house with my family. And I said, I'm tired and I don't feel like running the streets, so I'm going to be in the house while I get my rest and my family just so happen to be in here with me at the time. No. I'm well rested. I'm looking forward to this time to spend with my family. Whatever we doing, we finna be in here, we finna be in the moment. As if we won't have another moment to share. And life taught me that shit, man, that it's like that with everybody. We just get so caught up on things gonna be okay and God got us to where we forget that man, we can leave like this. We can leave like this. This is not no 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 packed parking lot, but Somebody that experienced death in their family or in their friend circle or something not too long ago. I'm just just guessing. I'm probably right. Someone in this parking lot is about to experience death in their life. So someone on this planet right now, a large amount of people experiencing loss is about to experience loss. Life is as is, is, is precious as the fuck. I've been put into the certain situations to where I had to like to see like, okay, my life is like gonna be over with and I got it back so being dead and having to accept the fact that I'm gonna be gone away from everything for forever and then getting it back shit I don't I don't have to sit down and wonder like okay what's important to me like I know what's important like I accepted the fact that I was gonna be gone from forever for 11 months straight that's not like that's hard to wrap your mind around for fucking 11 minutes no, seriously. Let alone be like everyone around you, lawyer, your family, everybody's like it's you know like it's, it's like it's a fucking eleven month funeral, but you just conscious to witness the shit, and then be giving it back. It was to where that shit really fucked me up, man. I ain't I ain't, I ain't afraid to say that shit. That that shit fucked me up. But when people be saying they proud of the change and shit, like that's cool and all, but it's nigga, I'm shell shocked for real. Like I'm shell shocked. I used to get out of jail. I've been in jail a lot. I used to get out of jail after like my long periods, like five years, two and a half years. Time will slip by, new fashion come in. You feel like you got to get back into the loop and shit. That, that didn't happen this time. It was some other shit. All this shit, that shit, this shit is the same to me. Clothes, technology, all this shit is just gadgets and, 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 and fucking cotton. People, especially uh, people younger than you, or like kids and shit, when I mean, you see them at a young age, and you see them grow, and you not there, or you actually know that this little one is gonna grow up without their father or their brother or their son, 
and you okay with that as far as not okay with it like i'm fine with it but you processed it and you dealt with the severity of the situation you mourned the situation you see how valuable the shit that's been taken away from you is now and you wishing to god that have a second chance that you never gonna get mm -hmm. and then you get it shit you know it's, there's no 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 nothing to figure out like i know i'm on multiple universes is real if, if switching realities is real i i did it i switched to a reality to where i got out of jail without having to tell or without having to go to court you see what i'm saying and got my fucking life back if that shit is real then i fucking did it if that shit is, is, is not normal. Mm -hmm. I got lucky enough and that shit happened to me, man. And I'm not finna just be out here just, yeah, it's whatever it's, yeah, I'm back thugging like shit, no. Hell no. That shit cool when you got a tinge of uh, uh, hope in your head that you might get away with this shit. It's cool if you don't, but just with that little bit of hope, the, the chance that you might get away with it, you brave enough to roll the dice. Like shit, no. I done cry, I done, I done rolled them bitches already, my boy, and I hit the jackpot with that shit. I know not to put the money back on the table. Mm. For real, I know not to double them bits. I know not. I know not. And that's, that's what the fuck happened to me, man. Health and fitness is just a byproduct of me just trying to, you know, live a, a better life, and the shit just fell into my lap like that. You can call it divine intervention. You can call mm -hmm. it laws of attraction. You can call it uh, changing frequencies and just picking up on a channel that's on that, 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 that receivable frequency, whatever you want to call it. But that's what happened, man. I started taking my health most seriously, you know, making the right decisions at heart. Not, you know, trying to do right for the family and the old lady and shit. Like, no, this is for my well-being and the ones around me. Like, if I, I need to love myself more so... I can be around to know how to love other people. Right. You see what I'm saying? If I don't love myself, I'm gonna do that as such. I'm gonna treat myself like I don't love myself. And other people are gonna pay the price for that. People who love me more than I love me. You know? It's not gonna hurt, I'm not, I'm not gonna be too fucked up when I hurt myself. You know what I'm saying? But my little one will be fucked up if I hurt myself. You see what I'm saying? Right. So it's, it's a lot of mental uh, fucking, uh, hurdles you jump into your own head and shit when you're trying to self better yourself and it's it's necessary this i picked this up from from being slightly interested in the stoicism i ain't had the time or the resource to really dive deep into philosophy but i i dig it i like it like just the, the whole mind frame of, of analyzing yourself all the way down to the most smallest detail like what is it about the way i walk that I don't like, that I can make better? Or what is it about the way I converse with people that I just met that might be better for me and those around me for a better social relationship in the future, if there is a flaw? Like, that's take a lot of self-analyzing. Like, you got to humble yourself to admit that, okay, something might not be 100% with me. Right. Something that's that true. I might think that I'm just okay with, I'm not, or I might have a fucking problem. Let me try to address and see, you know what I'm saying, without bias that I'm, I could use some help. You see what I'm saying? <clears throat> That's what stoicism is, man. That shit take, it takes some shit. It takes some mental exercises. Like you have to be not forgiving with people, but understanding with people in all forms. And to take the first step is to realizing that people are human just like you are. Whatever mistake that's being made, you have to remember that you've made mistakes as well. You see what I'm saying? Whatever emotion someone is feeling and they acting out of the emotion, you have to remember the time you did the same thing. Mm. Probably for something a little less petty than what these people are displaying. You see what I'm saying? And once you, you see not excusing the person's behavior, but understanding that person's behavior, that way you can have a better way of judging what you're seeing to where it don't spark a negative emotion in yourself. As far as somebody driving bad as the fucking traffic, like they, they late for something, they pissed you off and now your day is wrong. When you know you didn't been late before, you didn't been mad before, and that shit made you drive bad. That's you driving like that. You done done that before. And you know why that person's doing that. They not in the right state of mind. Like something happened that's causing them to do that. Pray for that person. Because you made it when you were straight. Somebody seen you doing that shit and prayed for you too. So now that you understand that this person that cut you off in traffic don't even fucking know you, and it wasn't no, nothing personally against you, this person is going through some shit and you should know that because you done went through it too. 
that type of way. You see what I'm saying? Understanding. Right, and it's, and it's a lot of people that they get ruined from rush hour traffic first thing in the morning. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, main casual syndrome. Think that the world is just catered around them. Like, you think because you made it to work without an accident that everybody who was in route with you just got a fucking meeting and say, hey, look, we finna make it to where this motherfucker can get to work without a flaw. It don't go like that. You know what I'm saying? That's right. <laughs> For real. Yeah, I hope that shit help people, man, especially people who are... Uh, I know a lot of people who, um, like the adolescent, that shit gonna go completely over their head. Some people that's in their early 20s, that shit gonna go over their head. But people who are like 23, 24, 25, they reaching that age to where they know that when people ask them how old they is, the number that they give, ain't nobody gonna really be like, oh, fuck, you just a baby, or you still in high <laughs> school. See, once that shit gone out the window, you start to feel like, okay, I might be getting old. You're not. You're maturing, but you far from fucking old. Trust you me. When you reach a certain age that what you think is old, you still gonna be like, damn, I thought this age was old. I'm still young as the fuck. You see what I'm saying? Right. Yeah, yeah. But that message for people like that. You're not tripping when you go to thinking that deep. You done reach that age the way you're seeing that life can, it, 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 it's more than just what's on the surface level, especially on, on your brain on, and your brain and your thought process. Like materialistic things or technology shows and shit. That shit surface level shit. That shit that, that worries people. That's the things that they want to obtain. Once you get older, you start worried about more expensive, more serious expensive things like house, owning it, not renting it, cars, mm -hmm. like ones that's for like efficiency and not for all for the looks. Then you start being concerned about virtues, patience, wisdom of family, love, respect, how to deal with anger, shit like that, friendship, what's true friendship, how do you maintain a friendship with somebody who done started their family and you still fucking single, or how do you have a relationship, a friendship relationship with somebody when you done established a, a family, but all your fucking homeboys is fucking male sluts, <laughs> you see what I'm saying, that shit not gonna play out like that, tell your old lady you gonna hang right. out with Tim Num and, and you and she know Tim Num be at fucking rags every fucking Tuesday and Thursday, that ain't finna happen. Shit, no. She finna hate your friends. For real. So that means you get some shit going out there, you know, they can be your friends, but not on no fucking Tuesdays and Thursdays. They need to be at... Doesn't matter of fact, you might need to just let them go until they, you know... Settle get, down. Yeah, <laughs> man, until they, you know, y'all can be friends on that level. You feel what I'm at? When that nigga go to call and you asking you how you can do it with an old lady and a baby, then... then you be his friend and tell him, like, my nigga, shit, I'm eating good, my boy. Shit, I ain't spent $200 on a bottle of liquor since the last Tuesday when we went out with you a year ago. You see what I'm saying? Shit, shit, man. So I hope that shit help y'all, man. Y'all hope y'all don't think that y'all lame because you, you know, you taking life more serious. There's a high probability you still ain't taking it serious enough, but that's, that's okay. You see what I'm saying? You at that age to where it's you make those decisions and you feel like that. That way when you do get older, and you, you'll you know the era you're, you're thinking by comparison to, to thinking wrong. Yeah. Health and fitness work out for you too in ways that you wouldn't expect as far as the benefits. And I don't mean just better sleep and a better mood. I ain't, I ain't talking about that. I'm talking about the motivation and the oil. Uh, the amount of discipline that you build up just through the process of sticking to something for a, a certain amount of time, especially something that got a slow return, like results, physical results, like visible results. It take a while before you really start to have visible results. You have moments to where you get into a zone to where the visible results, it's like they're just coming back to back. And then over time, you get a better idea of how long it, you should be expecting visible results. So that's kind of take away the, the feeling that the shit taking forever. But the benefits that, that don't get talked about that much is the, conf, the the fucking confidence that you build. The motivation that you build. I don't know, people think, con, when they hear confidence, they think that people is just, they, oh, they not scared to introduce themselves to people. No, nah, I ain't talking about that. I'm talking about the confidence in yourself for the, not health and fitness related. But when you want to challenge yourself to do something else, you didn't build up the confidence in yourself that you can do that not meet somebody. I'm talking about you didn't build up the confidence that you can go apply 
for that school that may take a month or it may take a year or it may take two years to get the certificate that you need, you know you can do it now because you didn't just did some hard shit, physically grueling. It took sweat, time, energy, some money for gym memberships and shit, but to get it done. And you know you can do it, that type shit. That lead up to all type of confidence. See what I'm saying? That should have leave you up to being brave enough to have those brave thoughts. Because a lot of people be fucking scared to have big thoughts. Go to having them good ass ideas. And then when they come up with a way for to make that idea work, when they see a way for it to make, it scares the fuck out of them. And they psych themselves out like, oh, no, that shit it just work too good. That can't possibly work. You see what I'm saying? I do this shit all the fucking time. <laughs>